Hi, people of YouTube. Um, as you can tell, I am in a different place. I'm actually at my sister's house tonight. I am dog, sis dog sitting for her. She has a Boxer and a Boston Terrier. They're both very sweet dogs, but um, she and her husband are camping this weekend and the dogs don't behave well enough to take camping with them. So I get to spend some time with some wonderful four-legged company this weekend. At least until Sunday morning. Um, this is actually an extra video. I was not originally planning to do another one this week, but lucky for you, you get another look into my personal health life, if you will. I don't know what else to call it. Um, over the past couple weeks, I've been having heart palpitations, or at least we think so. I had begun getting really short of breath, having trouble breathing, um, and that had started, it was a Saturday afternoon, um, my boyfriend and I were walking around in a mall uh, trying to get ideas for Christmas presents because we're both poor and can't seem to figure anything out as far as what to get our family members, so we were walking around trying to figure that stuff out. And all of a sudden, I felt like I could not catch my breath. And we were just walking around at a leisurely pace. He was not very far ahead of me. He was actually standing right beside me. So it's not like I was like running, trying to catch up with him or anything, because he is six foot, well, over six foot tall. And I'm less than five feet tall. So of course, it's a little bit of a balancing act trying to keep us together sometimes out in public, but he's usually pretty good about that. But like I said, uh, all of a sudden I could not seem to catch my breath. I just felt like I couldn't get enough breath into my lungs. So he took me home. He stayed at my house with me until my parents got home. They were at a uh, party with some of my dad's friends from work. So he did not want to leave me there by myself, so he stayed with me until a little bit after they got home. Um, I had decided that I would wait it out a couple days, see if it got better. Unfortunately, by Monday morning, it still was not any better, so I went to my doctor. She did a chest x-ray, didn't see anything. All my blood work was really good for once in the last three years. It was pretty much perfect. My white blood cell count was still up a little bit, but that's normally from inflammation in my colon. Now, because it seemed like nothing was wrong with my lungs, we decided to check out my heart. Earlier today, I went to the hospital and had an echo, which is like an ultrasound done on my heart, just checking to see if anything was out of the ordinary. When I was in middle school, we found out that I had a mitral valve prolapse, which means that one of the valves in my heart, the mitral valve, um, which is also known as the bicuspid valve, um, does not completely close all the way. So there's a little bit of blood that flows back through it rather than all of it going forward um, into a uh, major artery. So yeah, that's kind of a problem. Um, sometimes it can be bad enough to where you have to actually have an artificial valve replacement. Um, normally they use like a valve from a pig heart so we are waiting to hear from the cardiologist on the results from that. Um, so, yeah, I was looking at the uh, screen on the uh, ultrasound machine as they were doing it, and I noticed that it looked like there was more of a backflow through that valve than there had been last time I had one done, which it's been several years. I was a freshman or sophomore in high school, 15, 16 years old, and I'm in my early 20s now. So, yeah, that kind of worries me, but until we get the word on that, we think I may be having heart palpitations. 
which could easily be the uh, cause of why I'm feeling the way I am. Hang on, I gotta get something out of my backpack. Sorry about that. Um, I was starting to get short of breath, I had to make a note. But um, anyway, I am um, currently wearing what is known as a halter monitor. It's basically a 24-hour um, electrocardiogram, so it records the rhythm of my heart. I have five, five different leads on my chest area, and because of the placement, I can't really show you what it looks like when you have it on, but um, they're not too comfortable. But I also have to have this little thing clipped to my belt or my pocket or somewhere on my body where it's just kind of sitting there not really doing much of anything other than recording the rhythm of my heart. So I have uh, just shy of 18 hours left. I get to take it off tomorrow afternoon at about a quarter till three. It started recording today at 2.45, so I get to take it off tomorrow at 2.45. So yay. But also, something that they told me to do is anytime I notice any, um, any um, symptoms that can be related to cardio or pulmonary issues, I'm supposed to make a note of it, what it was, at what time, and how long it lasted, and what I was doing when it happened. Like, there's a spot for palpitations, dizziness, nausea, short of breath, which is actually the note that I just made. So at 8.47, I was talking, and I started feeling really short of breath. And then, if I'm able to, I can make a note of how long that lasted. Um, so... That is what this thing looks like at the moment. They have a little sample area for me to look at. So yeah, and when I return this uh, little monitor with, to the hospital tomorrow, I also have to return my little note card diary thing. They called it a diary, but I'm not sure exactly what to call it. Oh yeah, I still have my uh, nice, wonderful hospital registration bracelet because they didn't cut that off me like they normally do. Um, when I get my blood work done, I normally have it done at our county hospital and normally they cut the bracelet off when they're done with it, but they didn't today. So I thought I would make a video and just kind of explain what was going on. I thought this was a really good opportunity for those of you who are actually uh, having issues with your heart and may have to wear one of these things, you do have to sleep in them. Um, and I'm not looking forward to that too much because I like to sleep on my left side and yeah. That's the easiest placement for the little monitor to go is on my left hip, on the waistband of my pants, and I obviously can't sleep like that, so I guess I'll figure something out. And then on top of that, the boxer likes to uh, use me as a pillow when I dog sit. But anyway, I thought I would just make this video and give you a heads up of what's happening, what I get to wear. It's really not that bad, it's just when they put the leads on, they use a lot of paper tape, and it's not very comfortable at all. Um, those of you who've had any kind of blood work done or had an IV in at the hospital, once they take it out and they put that bandage on, you know it's not too comfortable. It's about like that, only in five different spots. So, yeah. <coughs> Sorry about that. So, uh, yeah, as far as what my next video will hopefully be, it will hopefully be a book review over this book, Dragonfly in Amber. It's the second book in the uh, 
Outlander series. Um, so far today, the uh, colitis has been behaving, so the humor is working great. Um, trying to think anything else. Oh, yeah. Over the last week, I've had symptoms of a urinary tract infection, which hasn't been too fun. But today, I also had to go in for a follow-up visit with my doctor, and she did run a test to make sure that I did not have a urine, a, a UTI, and it came back negative. So I don't know what is going on. I don't know what's causing it. All I know is my kidneys and bladder are killing me. I'm in some pain. I've been drinking water pretty much nonstop for the last few days, so trying to flush it out. Maybe I've been drinking too much soda, tea, whatever lately, so I don't know. I shall find out. Maybe. If I'm lucky. You don't always find out what's medically wrong with you. There are people that go years without being diagnosed with anything when they know that there's something wrong. They just can't figure it out. Hopefully this isn't like that. Of course, hopefully it also goes away. So, I don't know. I'm going to stop this because I'm getting really short of breath. So, until next time, see ya.